So recently I've been getting really good speeds from Airtel. I switched to virtual fiber from ADSL like seven to eight months back. So my speed earlier was 40 Mbps, which made sense. Uh, given the overall limitation for um, uh, for for the ADSL based virtual fiber is just 100 Mbps and the upload maxes around uh, 18 Mbps. So recently uh, my plan has been getting around 100 Mbps speeds which is amazing. Um, of course there are many other players uh, which are fiber based and they have been giving speeds of 100 Mbps. So I was just trying to base touch upon uh, what Airtel is doing in terms of fighting with the uh, rest of the broadband providers. The service with Airtel has been excellent so far. Uh, with the virtual fiber there are hardly any disconnects that happen which used to happen earlier when I was purely on ADSL. So in this video we are just going to go about uh, just randomly picking up the websites from Google and, and ch check out the speeds. So start with we can use the Ookla website. Uh, let's start the speed test here. And uh, let's the server. Okay, so this is in the same location where I'm staying. The server here. So let's give it a go. Yeah, if you see, there is just 12 milliseconds of uh, latency. Uh, earlier, while I was on. Um, ADSL this ping was about 60, 70, 80 uh, milliseconds. So here we are getting around 92 Mbps speed which is fine given other factors in the OS itself. The upload speed uh, maxes out at 10 Mbps uh, which is about 50% of the total capacity that we fiber in my location can handle. It's about uh, the maximum capacity that it can hit is around 18 Mbps, I think. So I'm getting an upload speed of 9 Mbps, which is pretty much good because I can do video chatting on on a, on a HD level without any issues. Uh, uploads are fine, like um, like for office work and everything. The, the 9 Mbps is more than sufficient. It's a consistent upload speed that I get. So let's try out some other websites and see the speeds. So this fast.com, uh, this is something that is uh, that only does the download uh, speed check and it is kind of powered by Netflix. So if you are using Netflix, you can kind of, kind of check whether your internet connection is fast enough to kind of support Netflix or not. So this would directly test the traffic from the Netflix servers. So we are at 80 Mbps, 83, so this is pretty much good for a 100 Mbps connection. So let's do another uh, retry and see how it fares. The internet speeds uh, that that you test that that basically kind of uh, hovers around uh, uh, 80 to 100 Mbps. I've never hit 100, but yes, consistently 90, 92 Mbps has been there. And layman terms, if you are downloading something, say torrents or or, or some file from some from some server, uh, you will very easily get around 10.5 MB per second. I'm not talking in bits per second. It's 10 to 11 MB per second you easily get and it's a consistent good speed. So it's 77 Mbps here again more than sufficient for streaming. Uh, let's go back and check another website maybe. Uh, so just to let you know that Ookla what it does is uh, it kind of searches for the servers which are local to your location while fast.com may be doing it with a US server or something like that. So we'll just see uh, yet another speed. This is something called Xfinity speed test. So let's take a look at that. Uh, it probably does the test with one of the US based servers. So you might see a higher latency here. So here you go. 
uh, okay so it's powered by Comcast so I'm assuming this is a good site to test it so it's testing with Foxboro yes the latency is 276 milliseconds which is understandable okay that's a good speed Wow okay wow <laughs> so it's 44 mbps uh, so it's kind of a misleading here okay let's see uh, what's the upload upload will always be kind of consistent so so this is actually okay what you see is not right but in the back end it's actually testing the right speed uh, let's t do the test again Uh, sometimes the speed also depends upon upon the server, uh, the source servers with which it's testing. Uh, if that maxes out, you will get lower speed speeds in the speed test. So, which makes sense. And okay, so with this uh, Foxboro server, we are getting around 45 Mbps of download speed. And yet, yeah, okay. So I don't really uh, trust this speed here because it's really uh, not making any sense and it's random so let's test something else um, maybe we can do a open speed test mm, okay Spa sp okay so this seems much better and uh, so far open speed tests uh, I don't know about this website but normally how they work is that they consider the real time scenarios and the real world scenarios um, not something what Ookla does uh, a downloading file from a single location to your um, uh, desktop so this is like uh, what the real uh, real world scenarios when you're browsing a website or whatever what you are doing so that's, that's the kind of speed that you get so again 80 mbps and 2.30 mbps um, sounds good to me okay so so just to tell you that these open speed tests are not something like uh, uploading a file from your desktop to the destination server it randomly kind of uh, connects to other websites uh, does small small uploads averages that out and that's how you get the upload uh, in mbps so so this is actually good open speed test uh, with the upload speed of 2.3 mbps and the download speed of 80.80 mbps while i was on adsl i used to get upload speeds of just one or two mbps at the max but now with uh, uh, with the latest v fiber i get around 10 mbps so which is good Uh, let's let's test out some other uh, speed tests. Maybe Telstra speed test. Okay. Um, okay. Let's. This looks more like Ookla, but uh, yeah, let's do. So it's going to test the speed. Of course, it's a, it's a company based out of Australia, so it's going to use the server in Australia. So no problem. Let's go. Okay, two sixty four milliseconds of ping. Mm -hmm. Okay, forty five. sixty five mbps of download speed for a server based out of australia not that bad upload looks fine too okay that's good um so if you can say us uh, uh, see the speeds that we have seen uh, in the last few tests I mean you basically get the 100 mbps speed maybe somewhere like between 80 to 92 mbps but that is actually uh, good 
I don't think you'll ever hit a complete 100 Mbps speed, but anything uh, like 80% of the committed speed is really, really good and uh, more than sufficient for doing any kind of buffering, any kind of uh, streaming. So, so it's really good and approximately 9 to 10 Mbps of upload speed is good too. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, you can do all kinds of uh, uh, streaming uploads and everything so uh, the other day I just uploaded like 1 GB of file within what 5 minutes to 10 minutes uh, and earlier it would take me around say an hour 2 hour with my earlier ADSL based connection which was again which was also Airtel so it's, it's really good um, Airtel has been improving on the speeds and, and try, trying to uh, live up to its expectations. So on that note, uh, I'll end this video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is TechSurfer.